All right, so if anybody wants to tell me why I used a picture of a teacher for a thumbnail, that'd be great, because I can't give you an answer. But anyway, what's up, y'all? It's a Funky Diabetic, and uh, thank you all for 29,000 subscribers. The support has been awesome. Usually you'd do something like this for 30k, but I decided to do it at 29 because I don't freaking know this is what I wanted to do. And so, we're doing ourselves a nice little Q&A. I asked y'all to ask me some questions, and you did. So let's jump into this damn thing. Let me get some easy ones out of the way first. My real name is Billy. I'm 23 years old. I live in Massachusetts. No, I am not a diabetic. This actually comes from a song by a tribe called Quest called Oh My God, where Fife Dog, rest in peace, said the line, Mr. Energetic, who me sound pathetic, when's the last time you heard a funky diabetic? I thought that was awesome the second he said it, so that's why that's my name. And also the reason that I started YouTube is because I found Chris Smoove a couple years ago. Thought his videos were really cool, found some other YouTubers that I liked. Decided, hey, let me try it myself. Here we are. What is my job? My job is YouTube. It's been my full-time thing for a couple months now. Thank you again. And before anybody says, well, how are you doing a full-time when you only have 29,000 subs? My viewership's pretty damn good, so thank you. Now let's get into some other stuff. Broke it down to sections a little bit here. As for basketball related stuff, my favorite player is Draymond Green because the guy's just super versatile in all areas of the floor and he's kind of like a basketball nerd's dream of a player. I don't like college basketball because the level of play is just so much worse than the NBA in terms of skill level. It's just kind of tough to watch. If you can watch it, cool, but I can't. I've been an NBA fan since 2007, the year before the Celtics acquired Kevin Garnett as well as Ray Allen. So I guess I kind of got rewarded for that because I became a fan of the team when they won 24 frickin' games. So there you go. Am I good at basketball? Hell to the no. If you leave me wide open, it's gonna go in. Besides that, I can't dribble. I can't play defense. I'm not very athletic. Don't ask me to do anything besides shoot the ball. I'm basically a shorter version of Steve Novak. So there you go. As far as some YouTube-related questions, will I ever use a face cam? I don't know. I'm pretty naturally introverted, and uh, I probably have a little bit of social anxiety, if we can be honest. So the idea of a camera in my face scares the crap out of me. Not only that, but my videos are not live, so it'd be kind of weird to use a face cam. Because, I mean, I edit footage and then I talk over it in post-commentary, so it'd be kind of weird to use a face cam, in my opinion. Would I ever do a non-NBA series on my channel? I would actually love to, it's just, I gotta find something that I really care about, because I uploaded, like, a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video, and it's like, you know, I'm cool with Black Ops 3, but I don't really play it like that, so I don't know if I would do a series on it. I uploaded a Destiny video a while back, but even though I've put a lot of hours into Destiny, I play that game pretty casually. I don't really want to make videos on it, you know? Would I ever do a Lakers series? Yeah, probably. It's just a matter of um, no other big YouTuber doing a series on them so I can get myself some damn views. How long does it take me to edit a video? It depends. It can take up to three or four hours to do a 2K video because it takes forever to play a game of 2K for some reason. It takes an hour and a half when I do 10 minute quarters. It should take 45 minutes tops, but I don't know. Um, some personal questions. What do I do when I'm not doing anything YouTube related? Probably watching Twitch. I have a Twitch stream up every single moment of my day. So I'll probably just lay back and watch Twitch or I'll just sit back and listen to some music or maybe watch something on Netflix Orange is the New Black is coming back in like a month, so I'm pretty excited about that one. Or I'm just playing some game that's not 2K. Um, lately I've been playing a lot of Overwatch, that game's pretty damn awesome. Dream job other than YouTube, probably whatever the hell Zach Lowe does. He's an NBA writer for ESPN, or Grantland still technically. Probably that. And now we get to go to the section that I'm most excited about, the music section. Because I talk about this stuff on Twitter somewhat, maybe I should talk about it more, I don't know. Favorite rapper of this generation? Probably Kendrick Lamar. I mean, Freddie Gibbs and Danny Brown are definitely close. Kendrick, I mean, I don't need to go into too much detail on why Kendrick Lamar is awesome, okay? Section 80 is great. Good Kid Mad City is amazing. And To Pimp a Butterfly is a freaking masterpiece. You all know this. Favorite rap group? Probably Outkast. It's close between them and the Wu-Tang Clan. And uh, the Wu-Tang, I mean, look. Enter the Wu-Tang is awesome. Wu-Tang Forever is really good. Only Built for Cuban Links is a mafioso masterpiece. Liquid Swords is weird as hell and it sounds great with RZA's production and Jizza just saying some wild stuff. Tikal is good. 
Ghostface has like four great albums, but you know what? Outcast, Southern Playalistic, it has that 90s feel, but it also combined that with like Southern hip hop so well on tracks like Player's Ball and hell, the title track. And then there, there's, of course, Funky Ride, there's Get Up, Get Out, which is a freaking amazing song. AT Aliens is weird, Equimini is even weirder, Stankonia is even weirder, but it's just like a 2000s weird. Gotta go with Outcast. Here's a discussion that'll never die, Nas or Jay-Z? Me, personally, I gotta go with Jay-Z. I think Nas is fantastic, but um, outside of Illmatic, which is, you know, if you want to call that the best album ever, go ahead, I'm not going to dispute you. Outside of that, I only really like It Was Written as well as Stillmatic. My biggest gripes with Nas is just his entertainment factor. I'm not a big fan of a lot of his instrumentals. Sometimes his hooks aren't that great, and I don't know. Nas is, uh, he's still pretty awesome, but um, if I gotta pick one, I'm gonna go with Jay-Z. I think Jay-Z's imagery sometimes is a little underrated because um, the way he really takes you into his world is uh, really something. On tracks like uh, Where I'm From off of Volume 1, there's of course pretty much the entirety of Reasonable Doubt, especially songs like The Evils as well as Regrets, which um, really showcased the dark side of drug dealing, which rappers were not doing that much of. I mean, Biggie was doing it, but that being said, I haven't really enjoyed a Jay-Z project in a, quite a while. The last one I liked was American Gangster, which was kind of like the modern-day version of Reasonable Doubt. Uh, especially tracks like No Hook. I mean, my goodness. So, yeah. They're both awesome, but I guess I'll go with Jay-Z. My favorite Kanye West album, College Dropout. The only track on there I don't care for is Breathe In, Breathe Out with Ludacris, because that song's just stupid. But um, besides that, I mean, freaking spaceships, man. Like, who makes a song like that about working a 9-to-5 at the Gap? Especially at a time when 50 Cent and G-Unit were at the top of hip-hop and rappers were trying to be cool, Kanye West comes out with freaking Jesus Walks. Like, what? <laughs> so yeah, College Dropout's awesome. J. Cole, Kendrick, or Drake? I already said Kendrick's my favorite rapper of this generation, so the answer to that. I like J. Cole and Drake. There are definitely songs by both of them that I enjoy, and I actually think Friday Night Lights by J. Cole is probably my favorite project from him, which you don't hear a lot of people say. So I, I like them, but I mean, I don't know, I don't love their music. They're cool, they're good, if you like them, fine. If some of their music comes on on the radio, I'm not gonna turn it off, but I'm not necessarily gonna jam out to it either. And that's fine, because music's all a bunch of different opinions and all that crap. I think I got through all the questions I wanted to answer, so thank you all for the support. I'm probably going to throw some Call of Duty footage over this or something, I don't know. And I'm done.